Hello everyone! Welcome to another Hero Spotlight, featuring our newest hero, Jushin, the beacon of spirits. Jushin is an enigmatic woman who uses her lantern and butterflies to deal sustained damage and provide CC. Beacon of spirits, Jushin! Passive, Crimson Butterflies. While Jushin is casting her second skill, the mana spent will be converted into Crimson Butterflies that will fly around her spirit lantern. Once she stops casting her second skill, these Crimson Butterflies will slowly dissipate, each one restoring a portion of her mana. Jushin starts with higher max mana, but the limit won't increase with her level. First skill, Fluttering Grace. Jushin deals magic damage to all enemies in a fan-shaped area and applies stacks of Soul Snare on them. Target's hit will also be slowed while Jushin gains movement speed for a period of time. Second skill, Lantern Flare. Hold and drag the skill button to consume mana and move Jushin's Spirit Lantern independently of her, dealing continuous magic damage to all enemies in its range while applying stacks of Soul Snare to enemy heroes. Once an enemy has enough stacks, they will be captured and pulled airborne. After capturing an enemy, release the skill button to throw all captured enemies to the target location, dealing magic damage to all targets in the area. Ultimate Crimson Beacon. Jushin blinks to a target location and enters a flying state. For the duration of the ultimate, she deals continuous damage to enemies around her while applying stacks of Soul Snare. In the laning phase, use Jushin's first skill to slow the opponent and increase her own movement speed. Then use her second skill from a safe position and try to hit the minions and the opponent at the same time to both poke and clear the lane. Once the enemy has enough stacks, throw them into the minions for additional damage. In teamfights, use Jushin's ultimate to blink into a good position. Then follow up with her first skill to slow the enemy team and use her second skill to build stacks at a safe distance. Try to capture as many enemies as possible with her second skill. Then throw them out of position while also grouping them up. Jushin is a mage with strong sustained damage and works best as a follow-up instead of the initiator for teamfights. Upgrade Jushin's second skill at level 1 and continue to prioritize upgrading it as her main source of damage. Hit the enemy with Jushin's first skill first to create a more favorable environment to use her second skill. After capturing enemies with Jushin's second skill, release the button to throw them for additional AoE damage. We recommend the Mage Emblem for Jushin with the Agility, Bargain Hunter, and Impure Rage talents. Jushin is somewhat equipment dependent, so Bargain Hunter will let her finish her build sooner, while Impure Rage provides extra damage and mana recovery. We recommend this build for Jushin to cover mana regen, slows, shields, and damage, allowing Jushin to maximize her potential in teamfights. Clock of Destiny is Jushin's core equipment. The higher max mana allows her to keep her second skill up longer, while the mana and HP regen gives her more sustain in lane. Ice Queen Wand is another good pickup to keep enemies slowed in her second skill. Grab Wishing Lantern in the late game to enhance Jushin's damage output. We recommend the Sprint Battle Spell for Jushin for a burst of speed to safely kite while casting her second skill. Jushin can also take Vengeance to survive when she blinks into the enemy with her ultimate. Jushin is a good counter to enemies with less range and low mobility, such as Popol and Koopa and Cyclops, where she has a big advantage. Like most mages, Jushin is countered by heroes with high mobility and burst, such as Fanny and Saber, who can quickly take her down. Jushin can provide great damage in CC, but she can't realize her potential until later in the game, so heroes with CC can help Jushin get through the early period. Jushin also works well with sustained damage heroes like Belarik, Kimi, and CC to dish out a surprising amount of damage.
Jusine's abundant control effects make her work well with a roamer, who also has CC to terrorize the side lanes. Her second skill can quickly build stacks on controlled enemies and throw them back into your team to secure kills. In mid to late game teamfights, Jushin should stay in the back and poke with her second skill, and wait for the team to get a pick, then go in with her ultimate, followed by her first and second skill to clean up. Jushin, the Beacon of Spirits, will arrive on June 29th. Enjoy 30% off on launch week. Get Jushin's Ethereal Serenity skin for only 51 diamonds in the first two weeks. Discover the mysteries of our latest hero. And until next time, we'll be seeing you in the Land of Dawn.